Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna try and prop this up. I don't have any of my tripods. Oh, I lie. I haven't used this tripod in a while. Is this okay? <laughs> Hello, welcome to a new vlog. Um, I just wanted to pop in at the start of the vlog to say my thank you for tuning into the last one. I was actually this close to not even posting that vlog and it's surprising to me because that vlog actually did pretty well. I don't know how these things work. like. The algorithms and stuff like that but if you are new my name is Sush. I'm an artist who's currently working on a comic book project. I vlog about things I'm going through in terms of the art journey and talk about running my online shop and various other things that come into play. Although I'm like a semi-regular updater, I don't update that often. The reason why I found it so bizarre that that vlog did well is because Prior to that, I didn't upload a vlog for about nine months. I've been kind of updating vlogs in like nine month intervals. The last vlog was nine months after the previous vlog and the previous vlog was nine months after the one before that. So, you know, I have not really been very active. Most of you probably know that it's because I've been working on my comic project. Again, which you can read here. <laughs> I need to actually figure out my marketing strategy going forward because I am kind of like my mind's in two different places when it comes to that. Like I, I need to figure out what I want to do because I've been so focused on the creation side. I kind of have blocked out everything. I can't even remember how to be like a person on the internet. I have just somehow forgotten and I guess also get, as you get older it's kind of natural that the, the younger kids who use the apps kind of create the culture around it so that the way you used to use it is not necessarily how it's currently used. It's like having to find my footing again. I don't want to change how I want to use the platforms, it's more just like being able to carve out my own little space, my own little corner of the internet. I find the the vlogs are a great way to do that. I do hope you enjoy this vlog. It's gonna be a mixture of my travels. I went to Japan, I was gonna say Korea then, Japan, Taiwan, and Hong Kong back in March and April. So there's some footage from the trip. However, you know me, like I like to keep the vlog more focused to the art side of my life. And so I didn't film that much on the trip. I also had like a, a whole thing with my batteries with my camera batteries and I kind of messed up and I didn't bring the charger so I literally only had I think it was like four or five batteries on me that I had to like pretty much save uh, throughout the whole trip which was almost a month long and so I didn't end up filming that much and I was too stubborn to buy like a <laughs> replace like um, another charger because I already owned two of them. I kind of may do. <laughs> I also just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has purchased from my shop. I still have a few notebooks left of the key design that I was showing to you last time. However, the sketchbooks are sold out. So if you were looking for a sketchbook, I hope to reprint my designs at some point, hopefully before the end of the year. One last thing before I leave you for this intro is that I have a convention at the end of May in London called MCM London. It's one I do quite often, you've probably seen it on my channel a few times. I hope to print some new things and restock charms, print some new prints if I end up finishing on time and also I want to print out the prologue of Kisses in June as like a little issue to help promote the comic. If it turns out nice I will also tr see if I can uh, make it available online too uh, for those of you who want a little physical copy before I actually uh, compile volume one, which probably won't be until early next year, um, I hope. I, I'm a bit behind with the comic, but that's okay. Yeah, things are, things are going pretty well. And yeah, I feel like I'm solving a lot of my, this like life problems and choosing how I want to conduct myself and be a presence in the world again, because I feel like I was just like hiding for so long and yeah this is where my mind is at at the moment so i'll leave you now thank you again and i hope you enjoyed the vlog okay i forgot to warn you guys that i am in the middle of invisalign treatment so it may sound like i have a little bit of a lisp hi everyone it's um the 2nd of january 2023 
this is the year I released my comic. <laughs> One of the things I want to do this year is to update more about my process and what I'm working on because I do want to look back on this journey for myself as well and I feel like it's also quite valuable information because it's a very different approach that I've been taking. I have spoke about it in the previous vlog which I am editing right now. Yeah, I will take you across London at some point, I'm pretty sure. I've been doing quite a lot of things. I'm just not really used to the whole vlogging thing. I find it difficult at times to take the camera and to film because I would quite like staying in the moment and just being present and not having this extra thing on my mind. So balancing that going forward is going to be a little bit of a challenge. But in the meantime, the comic is the main priority. It will always be the main priority. Yeah, I, I don't, should I show you some pages? I think maybe this vlog will come out when prologue is released, so I can probably show you what I've been working on. Okay, I was actually doing my summary of art because I forgot that this is a thing and uh, I haven't really been on social media that much, so I completely missed everybody else's. I'll probably go back and have a look, but right now I'm working on the comic. Here are the pages I'm adjusting. I have this system now where I do four pages in one go and kind of check them against each other. I am still in the process of figuring out colours because I haven't been super happy with what I was doing previously. I'm a little bit stuck on this stage. I still have a lot left to do but I think once I do have like the workflow and the colours set then the rest shouldn't take too long because I already have the storyboards right here. Sorry, my eaten apple. <laughs> I need to throw that away. <laughs> um, yeah, I already have the storyboards here, so it's not too difficult for me to draw it, to draw the layouts. That's probably my strongest skill, so I don't worry too much about the drawing process. It's just like the colours, and I want to get the mood down, and the obviously the dialogue, and the and the pacing, and all of that stuff. Like that's the stuff I I worry about. Well, I say worry, but I'm actually pretty. Uh, chill about it. I, I'm enjoying the process so much and I've, it's so, so satisfying and rewarding to be able to work on this. Let me just show you. Hang on. Yeah, so I'm working on this page too. I really like the colours on this page so far, so I think I'm going to try and match the rest of the pages I have with this type of palette. I also love how this panel came out and the colours I chose for it. It's quite low contrast and it also has this painterly feel but it didn't actually take me that long to create um, because I am utilizing 3D in the process and so that really helps me get the scene down like the composition and everything like that but if you look at this panel the use of 3D is not super obvious which is what I've been trying to aim for and so like I'm very pleased with this panel in particular. <laughs> um, yeah so good so far. It is heading in the right direction I just have to Keep, keep going. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be released by the end of the month. Although I really do want to do like promo images and set up a proper website because I, I do have a landing page right now, but that's not the layout that I want to use because I was hoping to use a WordPress theme um, just to make it easier to view if you're viewing on desktop or um, on a mobile. But time. <laughs> and it's always something I could do later on when I do have a bit more um, of a buffer. So for now I'm trying to just crank out as much as I can and without, you know, without rushing too much so. But I'm off for today and so catch up with you later. Greasiness. I think I've been traveling for about 24 hours, so this is why I look like a greasy mess. But I finally arrived at my hotel room, and it's such a cool aesthetic. Ooh. Bed area, and the sink is out here. It's a bit like a kitchenette, but obviously without the supplies. Oh, I got a little fridge. This is the bathroom. <laughs> 
Oh, it's the toilet, I suppose. Oh, the shower is separate. Oh, I'm gonna take a much needed shower. Ooh, what is this window? Oh, I don't think I can open that. <laughs> Goodbye. Good morning! I just picked up my breakfast. On today's menu, it looks like sticky rice and I actually don't know what that is. I think it's some sort of melon. But yeah, I think those are also cherry tomatoes, which I don't actually like that much, so I feel bad. And also this drink, which I think is actually not coffee. I think it's like something else, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> today's outfit. It took me two and a half hours to get through immigration But I'm finally here and it's like 11 p.m. <laughs> but I'm gonna go out to 7-eleven grab some water and I bought some concert tickets so I have to collect them at the 7-eleven too okay. It's only five minutes away so once I get back I'm gonna shower and I'm actually leaving tomorrow morning for Kyoto and so it's been a very hectic <laughs> few days and I wish I could I wish I had this couple hours because I really wanted to like go out and just walk around a bit but yeah it's a bit too late for that um but it's okay because i'm gonna be in tokyo anyway like in a week or so so it's okay okay so i just got to my dokan in kyoto so it's like 2 30 right now but before i head out again i'm just taking a little break because i have been dragging around my suitcases everywhere so i just freshened up a little bit, wash my face and before I head out I am gonna just try and get the pages ready for this week's Kisses in June update. Been having a bit of a nightmare with my laptop. Long story short, the 100 watt adapt travel adapter I brought with me has broken so I probably will have to buy an Apple version just so I can use my laptop during this trip. I'm charging it just with like a low power socket but obviously it can't charge whilst I use it so I can only charge it um, when it's off. Yeah, I charged it last night at the hotel and I was actually doing the pages on the Shinkansen. <laughs> 
um, but there's just a couple of touches, tweaks I want to make. I, I know my updates are really short right now, but this one gives you a bit more information about their current dynamic, at least in the prologue. So yeah, the weekly updates have been interesting to try because I'm definitely not somebody who has done that type of thing before and I can't say for sure whether I will continue this way. I think one of the major things is that in the last vlog I was constantly talking about dropping the prologue all in one go and that was my initial intention and because I haven't been able to do that I, that's probably why I feel a bit more resistance towards the weekly schedule in general. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So it's just painting a little bit with my trackpad, which actually wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be. I haven't been as competent as I'd like to be during this whole entire trip. Like I haven't missed anything, I've been fine, I've like got my flights okay, got the train I'm down here okay, got the train to Taipei. You know, I'm doing all right, it's just that the process of I think it's the luggages. The luggages are just so heavy that it makes everything 10 times harder, not even twice as hard, 10 times harder. Although I don't feel like it's that many clothes, it's just heavy. <laughs> it's just half a suitcase of clothes for like a whole month, which I didn't think was that bad, but now that I am walking around with it all, I feel like, yeah, if I ever do a trip like a month or more or longer, I just won't pack that many clothes. I think I will be able to wash my clothes at some point. I also last minute decided to bring a carry-on suitcase and so I don't know if that was a good idea because it kind of made me think oh I can bring more stuff but I actually can't because it's overweight. My sister lent me her suitcase which is bigger than my suitcase and it also makes me think oh I could fit more in but actually it weighs more so it kind of defeats the purpose. I only gave myself half not even half a day to pack, like a few hours to pack for this month long trip, which is just like, don't do that. <laughs> and it's just like, you need time to like reevaluate what you've packed. I wasn't able to do that, so yeah, lesson kind of learned, I hope. I'm lending compassion to myself though, because you know, it's the first time I've been abroad on a long trip since COVID. Yeah, even before that, I didn't necessarily travel a lot, although I was getting into a rhythm of traveling very light, and that was great. Um, but then, obviously, now I've forgotten all of that and the reason why I even went in that direction in the first place, but now I remember why. The pain. The best. On produce. Yeah, it was the best sometimes because actually they are, you know, the crowd is smaller. This is what I mean, like texture, right? Like this like, texture.
I think <laughs> this one, the moon, the moon one. Oh, the moon. Okay. <laughs> no, I just ripped it because I didn't know how to take it out. <laughs> This is like a stage. I feel this. Like, I changed it last minute as well. So I wonder which other one I would have got. <laughs> but yeah, it's always funny how, even though we've drawn for like such a long time, they're still like really good drawing sometimes. There are certain things maybe I could try. It's like it's good to experiment too. Yes. But yeah, I rely a lot on shortcuts these days. Everything becomes a symbol, and I think less, which is uh, a bit dangerous. Um, but yeah. What, what do you mean? So, like, you have short hands for stuff, right? Mm. So, when you're drawing, say, like, you're drawing this ear. You draw it from a certain angle like this, and then if you're drawing it from like the back, you could draw it like this. But if you were drawing it in between here, you'd have to kind of like think more. But I don't have a shorthand because I don't have a shorthand yet for like in between these two. And so, if I if I'm not thinking, I would just draw it kind of like I don't know something like this. It doesn't too bad, but. Actually, that's not too bad. But like, it's kind of, it's kind of like I would default to this probably first, and then realize, okay, actually, I actually have to redraw it. If you if you just rely on shorthand, then you would wouldn't realize that you were not quite doing it correctly, even though it doesn't really matter. I understand what you mean. Yeah, because like you're not turning that part of your brain on, or like thinking about. Well, in perspective. Which I don't think drawing is entirely I like I like to like designing 2D shapes. So I feel like my style is like a mix between 3D and 2D. So I'll keep some form but then I'll also like make things flat on purpose for the graphic silhouette or the appeal. And that's okay with me. Like I can sacrifice the form or like accuracy of the form for the design. I can see what you mean actually even in your comment comment the ones that you've gotten so far so, mm -hmm. like it's not <laughs> accurate but it's like shape design I guess yeah yeah <laughs> and yeah it could be more accurate but yeah I'm like I'm not as interested in that right now it it comes and goes it's like sometimes I'll have a phase of like oh it's got to be so technical and correct and I'll try and draw it perfectly and then the other times I'm just like whatever I just draw it how like how it, it comes out in the emotion and like if it looks cool it's right <laughs> I, I don't really think they're the same thing I think they're actually like two separate skills yes it's been a while since I've drawn <laughs> Yeah, so like this, like with the hoodie, I always simplify to like just shape. I, I don't care too much about being te technically correct on the phone. Mm -hmm. It's more like, okay, you know that's a hoodie. It's, it's like a representation of it. Mm -hmm. And it's graphically, the shape's kind of graphically nice to look at, or like the silhouette. And that's kind of why I, why I go for mm -hmm. it. And also hair, like hair, I, I kind of make it flat and really focus more on the shape. So as long as you can recognize character, it's correct. Yeah, so there's that too.
because I used to be really obsessed with thinking, oh, everything has to be super accurate. The character has to be a model all the time. And like, if not, if they stray away from that, then you're drawing it wrong. And I would scrutinize things that way. But like, I was never able to achieve that. So then I had to, the other way to be able to cope with that idea is to let it go. <laughs> so, right, okay, so as you can see, it's pretty flat. Like, the, the hair here, it doesn't go round the form, it just goes straight because I didn't really think about this. Like how it would wrap around. So if I was, I would probably make these parts look more head on. And then I'd make these parts foreshorten into the background. Right? So they wrap around the head on this side. But I didn't do that because I don't care too much about it. Yeah, but you can you could do that if you really wanted to, and it would look good. Not gonna lie, it would look good. And maybe I'm just like not there yet when I because I don't think about it too much. Um, but if I was more conscious and I wanted to make the form read really well, then I would have to do that process. But don't you think it can be a stylistic choice that you think that's my style? As long as it's a conscious choice, then yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, but just know, like, your intentions. Like, why you're choosing to do it. Yeah. You're popular. Extroverted. This one's real. Oi. Yeah, you're doing it half right. They're working together. It's the same one, you know. It is. <laughs> it's called Machi. Machi Ta. It's so Oh, dear. It's okay. We're on the Willow Express now, girls, to talk, girls.
he's filming you watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good actually. Yeah. It's quite filling. I underestimate no, I overestimated how uh mm. I, I know what you mean, like even the flowers don't look real sometimes. You always think like is, are they really there? You know, have they really flowered? <laughs> You know, one of the things I got used to after being here is the electric toilets. <laughs> you can just hear it cleaning itself right now. <laughs> so I only have today and tomorrow left in Tokyo. And then I'm flying to Hong Kong the day after. Tomorrow is a Kisses in June update. So I need to prepare the pages that are going to go up. For the most part, they're done. But there is a certain panel that I want to improve. It's technically the climax of the chapter and I, my intention was to add a bit of extra work to it like extra rendering and things but I didn't get around to it before I went ab away so um, it's kind of okay as it is because it's it looks different to the rest of the the, uh, the prologue so it kind of works anyway but part of me just wants to see if I can try and make it how I intended to in the first place um, I do have the time today, so that works out. And then tomorrow I'm going to enjoy my last day in Tokyo and go to a park and enjoy the sakura since they are already starting to fade away, which is really sad. It is so temporary and I think after coming here and realising that it doesn't always look this way, I do definitely feel very lucky that I was able to see the sakura in full bloom. But seeing them fade now actually makes me appreciate them even more than when I first came here. Yeah, I just want to quickly show you this book I got from my friend yesterday. We met up and hung out for a bit. I went to a uh, went to a gallery show, which was really cool. And then we we managed to stumble across this breakdance event, so we ended up staying in there for a while and trying to draw uh, the dancers. But they were going so fast, I just I did not have the capacity. But yeah, this is MM Coconut. She is an incredible artist. I'm a huge fan of her work and I would feel very, very happy that we could finally meet and hang out. So thank you, Sophie. Okay, so travel setup tour. <laughs> it's very bland, but I did bring this travel stand, which was very useful in the end because I was streaming with my Patreon the other day and trying to draw in my sketchbook, but I didn't have a, like a phone stand to use as a camera. So I ended up just like closing this a little bit and then using the webcam to project down onto my sketchbook but it was upside down but it kind of did the job. So yeah I'm gonna be using this today and I brought my tour box which I kind of regret a little bit because this thing is so heavy and it really added to my weight allowance. Um, and then I also brought my Intuos which I haven't actually used yet so today is the first day I'm using it and I really just hope that it's been worth carrying this as well. I have been using my iPad mostly for thumbnailing and I actually lost my Apple Pencil so I had to buy a new one and I'm kind of <sighs> mad at myself for that but um, these things happen I suppose. I have key, have my green tea and ready to go. Okay, so I finished that page that I wanted to render a little bit. I think I might have to tweak the colors just slightly because they are a little bit, they're a little bit jarring. Um, even though it, the page is meant to be specifically meant to be different to the rest of the prologue, it's a little bit too different, I think. Um, so just gonna tweak it after I come back. I wanted to head out for lunch because I'm freaking hungry. There's this cafe nearby. It's like a dog cafe. <laughs> It's not really a dog cafe. I think the I think the owners just own dogs or something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go there and do my sketchbook page for the day. After doing my sketchbook page, I'm just gonna head back and finish rendering a couple more pages. Uh, I I do have to get them done before this trip ends. So 
if I can get them done today that would be ideal because otherwise I don't know when else I could do it really okay I'm back so I didn't realize that a lot of places are closed on Monday even though on Google it says they're open so I ended up going to a diner instead because I was just so hungry at that point and I didn't really want to work, walk any further so it was like the closest thing. I'm kind of getting by like I feel like my listening is improving so I can kind of understand what people are saying to me now but yeah I still don't have the vocabulary and I don't know I dropped Japanese like a while ago back in 2021. I feel like I've forgotten so many things so it's like starting from, almost starting from scratch uh but it's okay i kind of don't know if i'll pick it up again at this point but you never know i suppose like i feel like i'd only really pick it up if i was to live here and i never really intended to live here anyway so you never know though uh you don't know where life takes you yeah i went to a bakery and bought their last like bread they only had this and like loaves of bread left everything else was sold out so i ended up Getting this one. I might go back tomorrow morning to see if I can get something else. Probably should do some laundry and then get to work. So she was like an artist that I really look up to when I was a kid. Should I help him? Yeah, that's so cute. No, let's do Bohemian Rhapsody. We're in Hong Kong now, and this is the vibe. <laughs> Thank you. 